so now let's send the notification so inside the try block we can implement that we can say wet http we will use the http dependency for sending notification that is sending the post and get oh, you know the post request get request so as we are sending the notification so we will use the post so we will use this http dependency just add that and click on pub get in order to install it in our this flutter project so it has been installed successfully now let's come back here and what we can do is we can import the http dot dot as http so now we can simply say http dot dot post so we will post our request using the FCM Google APIs that is sending the push notification using Firebase Cloud messaging so in here we have to now define the URI dot parse that is using which API so of course we are sending using FCM so for that the official URL is HTTPS colon slash slash fcm dot google apis dot com slash fcm slash sent after, after it we have to define the headers so the headers for our notification will be in a key string format which simply means the key will be in string format and the value of it will be in a string format okay so key value format okay key value format how now you will see it first we have content dash type remember the spelling must be exact same okay this is according to the documentation and then the this is the key okay this is the key and the value of this will be application slash json then the next key is authorization and the authorization value will be basically our server key now from where we can get this server key first of all here you can write key equals to and from where we can get our server key go to your firebase console whatsapp web clone and go to project settings here you will see cloud messaging now inside the cloud messaging you will see this cloud messaging api legacy click here and click on this link we have to enable our uh, FCM so it will redirect you to this cloud messaging you have to click on enable button so it will now enable this and after when it is enabled successfully we will get our uh, server key FCM server key so now if you close this come back here and refresh this page then you will see your key here you can see server key it is enabled now and you can see the server key so just copy that server key by clicking this and come back here and after this key equals to after the equal sign you can paste it here control V okay just paste that here so this is our authorization now after the headers comes the body of the push notification so we have to send it in an encoded value okay so we can say json encode and then what we can do is here we have to define two that is where we are sending this push notification so you remember i told you that is using the device uh, the token fcm token that is each user has its own token using that token we recognize each user so to token we are sending this push notification this notification we are sending to that specific token or you can say to that specific user to which the user is sending this message okay and then the message use the same keys okay this is according to the documentation so message simply means the uh, the same thing that is here we have to tell about the token 
so what we can do is we can simply say that token and token is our underscore token we have to define it like this so to token then message token and after the message we have the uh, notification now inside the notification we have to define the title and body so in the title of our uh, push notification we are going to send the from username to it that is the sender name and in the body you already know we are going to send the text message either whatever it is it is it can be an image it can be a file it can be a text message so this is about how we can uh, define the notification format according to the FCM documentation okay so this is all about our push notification that is how we can send push notification to web now we have to basically send the push notification so from where we can call it you already know where we have our method here we have already written this comment so we can say send push notification to web message uh, text we have to pass which is msg text and then the sender name so we can say widget dot from user data dot name and yeah that's it so it will send the notification to the receiver on web so now we are ready to test our application so one we will test on the chrome browser first let's run the chrome so our app is running on the chrome now now we have to close the terminal and run it on another browser so you have to write the same command flutter run dash d chrome web render html and you have to type here edge so it will basically run the web app on the microsoft edge browser so let's wait for it So it is also running now on the Microsoft Edge browser. So we have two browsers on which our WhatsApp web is running now. So on the Microsoft Edge, let me quickly log in as Peter. So we are logged in successfully and here you will see the notification badge so you have to click on that notification badge and click on allow so it allow the permission for receiving push notifications similarly here now log in as John and here already the notification permission we allowed okay so now if John Jones send message to Peter Parker or let's say if uh, Peter Parker send message to John Jones you can send from any side okay so as the sender is now Jones and the receiver will be Peter Parker so let's say let's test out the notification hello how are you and here you can see the notification arrive which says John Jones hello how are you so from John Jones Peter Parker receive a message hello how are you which you see here as you can see hello how are you and one thing which I have to mention here remember this guys that is you already know we are we are using these both browsers on the same computer okay so our IP address is same so if you get the push notification here and as well as here on this device then it simply means that you are using it on the same computer let's say if it is running if one browser is running on different computer and the other browser is running on different computer then you will receive the notification on the receiver side okay however for some students if they test the application then they will receive the push notification here 
as well as here they will see also the push notification because we are testing it from the same computer however also in the next section don't worry about it we are going to host how we can host our flutter web application just like using your url like www.facebook.com like youtube.com and just like that we can host our own flutter web applications so you will also learn that in this course okay this is the bonus section the bonus lectures which we will add in this course so anyways now I'm going to minimize this and now if we send the uh, notification where are you let's say and now let's see what we get so you already see that when the browser is minimized then you get notification pop up like this you get the push notification pop up like this which says uh, just like any browser display you the messages as you know the permission is already allowed that's why we see these pop up that is John Jones where are you okay so you can see that so if the browser is in the uh, background that is if it is minimized then you will see receive the notification like this also let's test out uh, when we send an image so we will check an image or file whatever you want you can send let's quickly send image okay I'm going to send this image so let's see what we get for the image when we send so you see John Jones send you image with a close button you can see that